On behalf of the select board, uh, I would like to thank everybody coming for this very, very important day for the town of Hadley. Um, seeing everyone here, I would just like to recognize some folks. We have Gil Smith, retired chief from Chesterfield. We have Russ Anderson, chief uh, from Granby. We have Dan Turner, deputy chief from Williamsburg. Uh, chief Tim Nelson from Amherst. Um, Bill Belden, chief from Halffield. Chris Norris, chief from West Hampton. Um, chief Bob Ahern from Sunderland. And we have Mr. Ed Lesko from the Hatfield Select Board here. Uh, in noting everybody is here and, and been acknowledged, I'll turn this over to Joyce Trungle. This is a great pleasure for me tonight to be here and to uh, make this presentation to Mike. It's been a long process. Uh, we've talked for a few years about getting a full-time chief and um, now we're here and we're doing it tonight and it, uh, it's a great honor for me to be up here to do this. Uh, thank you to the firefighters that have come out today. We appreciate you coming and, and supporting your new fire chief. It's uh, really important for him to have you here and very important for us to see that you support him. So thank you for coming. And tell all our residents that also come, thank you very much. Um, Mike has had the expertise in doing this job and it only seemed fair that we gave him this job. Uh, he's been doing the fire chief's job but without any authority. And um, he has demonstrated his willingness. He's well known throughout all of the communities surrounding us for his outstanding work that he does in coordinating EMS. And I would like very much to take this time to bring Mike forward. And uh, he's going to be a great leader. I know he's not going to let us down. And uh, uh, he's been worrying the last few, the last few months has been really hard for him. Uh, Jessica is back with us. We're very happy to have her here tonight to join in Mike's uh, presentation. And um, his children are here. And it certainly is an honor for everybody to, to join us. Um, needless to say, uh, I'd like to bring Jessica forward to give us the honor of inducting Mike as our fire chief. And as usual, repeat after me. <laughs> I, Michael Spangnable, who solemnly swear. I, your husband, Michael Spangnable, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Charge and discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. As fire chief for the town of Hadley. As fire chief for the town of Hadley. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. Agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution agreeable to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and to the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and to the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and to the rules, regulations, and bylaws and to the rules and regulations and bylaws made under the authority thereof made under the authority thereof and the rules and regulations and bylaws and the rules and regulations and bylaws of the town of Hadley of the town of Hadley so help me God so help me God I'll give you a wipe of kiss <laughs> Gage to come and take off my captain's pin, and my daughter will be taking off my lapel pin. Sloan.
and while we have uh, Chief Keats is here also, I think that uh, he certainly deserves a round of applause for all of his work that he's done over the years, and we truly appreciate everything that he's done also for this town. I promise I'll make this very short and sweet so we don't get completely soaked here. I just want to say thank you to everybody, especially to my family, uh, my lovely wife and my children. Um, you know, I'm not going to lose it here, I promise. <laughs> um, to Peg Jekinowski and all the folks here at the town hall for setting this up tonight, to the firefighters here, the officers, to the lovely townspeople, I look forward to serving you. And I truly look forward to working with all those fine gentlemen behind you. Uh, most of them have been uh, my, my, uh, my concrete block and have given me a good foundation to start with. Um, the phone calls back and forth are never ending and they always answer the phone. So I look forward to working with them. Thank you. And uh, I think you have something else to say? Well, I'm just, I'm just closing. Okay. So, you on. <laughs> so that's what I have to say. And I thank you all for coming out. And I look forward to working for all of you. Thank you. I would like to once again thank everyone for coming. Um, and I believe you're going to talk about a, a tradition within the fire department and I'm going to turn that over to you at this time. So I guess now that it's official, um, there's a very special person here that needs to be recognized like you just did, but I need to add a little bit further. <clears throat> it's her fault. <laughs> I have to thank this, this fine gentleman because he's actually the one that created this position. Uh, starting as the chief in 1997, after Myron Chudzik, he has served the town well, and he is the first one to actually have a full-time firefighter established in the town of Hadley. It's very difficult for, for Jim, I know, chief. Um, we've had many talks, and I know it's been tough for him having to work out of town, and uh, you know, we all have different opinions of how things happen, but I know his heart was here with us when we were all here working hard and he was out on the road. So in honor of all his service to this, this community, which is some 35 plus years and 15 years as the chief, uh, I would like as my first order to ask the Hadley firefighters to please stand at attention. So in tradition, in Hadley, we like to give our fire chief a final ride home uh, especially on one of the pieces of apparatus that he was, he helped the town get. Our Hadley Engine 1, our first true ladder that we weren't, that wasn't donated from the lovely town of Amherst, thank you. <laughs> but our own. And Jimmy was instrumental in getting that into our community. So, our firefighters would like to honor you, Chief. Come on up. <laughs> and they are gonna lead you home. And I would like to ask you gentlemen now to present arms. Chief, thank you very much and we all love you. <laughs> 